The cursed gift whenever good came to Jasmine or evil befell her, her grandmother would react as if she had already known, nothing new happened to her granddaughter ever surprised her, something that irritated Jasmine to a great extent. When she was a teenager, the golden period for emotional outbursts she complained to her how she didn't care for her future, didn't care what happened in her life, all she ever did was smile briefly at the good moments and nod knowingly at the bad ones maybe she would have been better off living in an orphanage than with a woman who loves her not. Her words caused the old lady great sadness yet she withheld her position and replied calmly, when you grow older I will tell you everything. No matter how many times the unfortunate girl badgered her, she never relented until she reached 17. Jasmine was excited and anxious to hear what her grandmother's most longed for secret. The old lady kept staring silently for a while at Jasmine then took a deep breath, I'm gifted. Or cursed. I can see people's lives from start to finish. Jasmine laughed loudly thinking her grandmother was pulling her leg, so you know all the people's affairs and secrets, she said still laughing. The old lady's countenance didn't change, don't interrupt me, she said sternly. Jasmine fell silent. I see the persons in front of me their whole life, I have seen horrible things, things that could make your heart burn with pain. She stopped to take her breath, her eyes were full of horror as if she was seeing them all over again, Jasmine's heart quickened at the sight of her grandmother's face. I tried to help them. I tried. I only made it worse, then I had a dream that I should not interfere with destiny. Why was I gifted if I'm not supposed to help people? Why am I cursed? What have I done to deserve this hell of a life? She talked more to an invisible entity than to her granddaughter who kept her silent. I stopped going outside and closed my door in front of everyone. Isaac, my loyal servant, he has started taking care of my property and bringing me everything I needed from the outside world to the safety of my house. Jasmine remembered her parents, she yelled, but you knew about the car accident then, I didn't, by the time I was pregnant with your mother I was feeling depressed and unable to carry on. I, I couldn't see her, not when I knew when my husband was going to die and how, tears were flowing from her eyes, I couldn't see her. I made them take her away from me and raise her in another house where it wasn't cursed with my presence but alas. Jasmine started feeling skeptical, but didn't tell her. So why did you raise me then? You had no one left but me, I didn't have a choice. Jasmine was sure her grandmother was losing her mind. I can't tell you your future dear child, because you know nothing Jasmine thought, you must forgive me, but live your life before it's too late, love the people in your life and the ones coming to it, love them like there is no tomorrow, and when the misfortune strikes you be patient, she touched her cheek and left to her room. Jasmine didn't know what to think, she wasn't going to believe such nonsense, not when she believed in science and tangible things, you can't believe in both of them, they contradict one another. She was confused but decided to leave all that behind, she was going to leave the city and finally be free from her grandmother's lunacy. Years had gone by and the young girl grew up to be a pretty successful woman, she graduated from college with a management degree, nailed a job in a renowned company as a managing director after a quick climb up the career ladder and married a handsome rich doctor. She became the envy of everyone who knew her. Just like children's tales, Jasmine and her Prince Charming led a colorful and fun life, their happiness was completed with the arrival of their first baby boy. Jasmine, feeling guilty of not visiting her grandmother often she let her choose a name for him. She named him Angel. Angel was loved by all, especially by his grandmother who pampered him like no other kid was ever pampered. Jasmine was grateful that the old lady's nonsense was over. As not only she didn't refuse to see Angel but she played with him, read him stories. She let out a different personality than the one Jasmine got used to, it was like she was alive as opposed to her former cold and reserved self. Jasmine wanted to start her own company and started working for it, as a result she didn't have time for Angel, she left him to her grandma for days, sometimes for weeks. No matter how many times the old lady admonished her, Jasmine didn't change her habits. She would tell her, I promise tomorrow I will spend the entire day with him, and then by the end of the day, I had an important meeting, he will understand when he grows old, I'm doing all these things for him so he can have everything and live like a king. Th. A shade apart, that would be 4,500 rupees. Her hands are trembling, she hastily removes her pocketbook and shuffles out some notes. She is in her mid-thirties, her eyes seem to be puffy and her hairs are messy. Beside her is a cute little damsel, must be 11 or 12 years old. She has beautiful chocolate brown skin with soft curls and big eyes. The woman seems to be a lot stressed, I couldn't control my curiosity, I asked ma'am is everything alright? Are you okay? 
she replied, I craved for bread and tea when I was pregnant with her. But my mother-in-law said that for a fair child I should only eat rice and curd. For nine months I had to kill my craving so just, that I could get a beautiful and fair child. But I don't know what went wrong. She had tears in her eyes, I couldn't stop my urge to reciprocate, so these all brightening and whitening creams, these hair spa products is for an 11 year old daughter, it has to be. I'm the mother I have to make things right, no ma'am you are making things wrong. You have to appreciate your daughter for the way she is. You have to love her and make her realize she is beautiful. Being dark skinned doesn't mean you have to worry. It's a beautiful shade even goddess Kali is dark and she's beautiful. Make your daughter love herself, I could see the anger rising to her throat. She bangs the currency on the counter and says, will you for God's sake give me the bill, I tear down the receipt from the machine and give it to her. She catches her daughter by the wrist and drags her from the counter, but she stops her mom from her pace and turns towards me. And smiles. Like if she is thanking me for standing up for her, I feel a rush of serotonin, making me realize that I have done something right. What was all the commotion about? Nothing mom, remember customers are like God to us, and places a hand over my shoulders. By the way rocks please go to the Keto Brothers and finalize the weight loss capsule deal, mom our so called brightening and whitening creams are a huge success. Why do you want this now? I say with irritation. Rocks I don't want another argument here please go and sign the weight loss capsule deal, so it's true, we turn our heads towards the source of the voice. It's a young 16-year-old girl with love handles and chubby cheeks, my mother speaks with excitement, yes it will be coming soon in our stores, yeah you know I was in so many diets but nothing worked. I do have a lot of trust in you, but why do you need it, I ask, she blushes a little and says, I want to fit into that dress. She points through the glass screen towards a boutique across the street, a beautiful pink dress that would fit malnutrition, woman, but I don't think you need a dress to be beautiful. I love the way you are, I say abruptly, mom interrupts, she means that you will look more beautiful, after consuming our weight loss capsules, the girl plasters a smile on the face and walks out of the store, go off soon and put on some powder. You look so tan, I rush towards the makeup room trying to join the dots of my turbulent emotions. The flash of the camera catches my eye, a ad is being shot for our cream. All the girls are fair and if someone is not enough fair we increase the camera light intensity. And this propaganda has been happening for over 100 years, it all started with my great-great-grandfather opening a small shop of cosmetics. India was still under British rule at that time, it was for the upper-class women who wanted to be just like the wife of British officers. From a show it became a store then it became a brand and now it has a chain of stores all over India. The British left us but couldn't take away the color influence from us. Now in our country skin color has more value than actual brain capacity. For 100 years we have made women feel embarrassed for being olive or brown skinned. Showing them that the true essence of beauty lies only in fair skin, girls it's an emergency, I send the message in our Wonder Women group. Rue responded, yeah, it's an emergency here too. Come soon to our ADA, I put on my coat and rush towards the front door. Is EE my mother sigh seeing me? Yes mom I rubbed all my makeup off, I'm standing on the street looking at the dress previously pointed by the girl. Next to it is Aryaman selling the dress, he always loves fashion and colors. He started to sell his designs when he was in college and now his boutique is a heartthrob of girls and brides, he catches my eye and waves, I feel the blood rushing to my cheeks. He mouths me to late call me, I nod, I reach to nail stacks and nail studio of my friend Rue. I see SIA blowing her nose on a tissue I sit beside her and say, did you break up again, it's real this time okay, SIA shouts, he said SIA and him look odd as a couple, Rue exclaimed, he is terrible, why don't you leave him Sia, I grunt, he's right okay, I don't watch what I eat, I put up extra kilos. Maybe I s.